Hi. Welcome. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm spilling my water everywhere. Welcome to a new video. This is pretty much the full month of November in a highlight reel form. There's a lot of sweet moments in it. I think this is a really special vlog. I hope you enjoy it. While you're around and you're still present on this video, leave me a thumbs up. It really helps and grab, grab a water. Um, this is about 30 minutes long, so you could be getting so hydrated in that 30 minutes. That could be really good for both of us. So I think that's it. I'm really just here to say hi. So hi, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Thanks for press and play. And I hope you like it. This is my new wave. I hold my fingers super tight so I can wave real tight. Do we like it or no? I mean, it is, you know, it's not, I don't know. See ya. I met up with my friend Evan, who is another local artist here in Cincinnati, and we were having like a pen trade-off. I don't know, we didn't plan to have a pen trade-off, but we love to talk about pens and sketchbooks. And he had made these acrylic ink and water mixed water brushes, and I loved them. So I immediately went and bought the supplies to make them. It's like 50% ink, 50% water. And it doesn't bleed through my really thin paper, and it's like a little watercolor hack without using watercolor and not having to get out supplies, so they're really fun. And if you have some water brushes laying around that you don't use anymore, I highly recommend making one. It's it's worth it. Later that night, we had the most fun of our lives. Truly, there were me and three of my friends ended up with these child-sized blow-up balls and we blew them up and started running at each other in the yard for like, I don't know, an hour until one of them popped. And it was so fun. I'm so glad I have this footage to watch back. I have not laughed that hard in such a long time. So this was like, Peak joy, right here. In one corner. King. Oh my god! <laughs> this is an insane thing to be doing in the... <laughs> <laughs> I like when you do that. So I was just crocheting and then all of a sudden there was a lizard crawling out from my wall. So I did catch and release it, but I've been on a huge crochet kick recently. I've been making so many beanies. This was the first beanie I made in attempts to test out how I want to make beanies so I can make them for my friends. And it went pretty well. It was a little long, but still cute. I also went and checked out the local embroiderer that I'm going to try and make baseball hats with. In my last vlog, I was designing a little puppy to put on a baseball hat. 
and good. Jess and I went to the good. manufacturer so I could try on the hats because they sent me a bunch of brands I could choose from but I'm a little particular about how my hats fit so I wanted to try on the ones that I liked and I ended up liking the fit of the color that I wanted to pick so it worked out great and we're gonna make those sometime not sure when but sometime A few of my friends and I decided to take a weekend trip to Gatlinburg. I don't know how this came up. We were gonna go camping, and then it was just like a little too cold to go camping. So we planned a, a weekend trip to Gatlinburg. I've never been there. We Airbnb'd a little cabin, which was really cute, and was right by this creek is why we picked it, because I love to stay by a little creek. I'm not gonna lie, I love a little creek. Um, we got into a bit of hiking, we saw a waterfall, we did hike into like the main drag of Gatlinburg, and I'd never been there. And I didn't know that the vibes on the main street of Gatlinburg were so intense. It felt like a carnival in the middle of the mountains. It was just really shocking to me. I just had really no idea of what what it was like um that's nice it kind of felt like a mountain las vegas almost without the casinos but more with like mini golf yeah. and carnivals <laughs> so that was really <laughs> shocking that wasn't really there, shocking was but it, it was, was a nice little quick trip and we saw a lot of beautiful <laughs> things so i'd never seen the smoky mountains either so that was really fun doesn't do it justice. Hey James.
that's good. mid-november right now i don't think i've said a word on on any of this footage but my heater's coming on just because i started talking i know that's why um should i turn it off also i want to i um just kind of been slowly trucking through this month i've had a bit of a sad couple months just like sadness and slowness and mentally usually here i'm like maybe off screen a little bit so things have been slow but my friend dan who owns proud hound i have previously done a collaboration with them proud hound is a local coffee shop here and i designed their spring merch i did a two t-shirt designs, a tote, stickers, and a thermos. Um, I don't know what's going on with the light here. Um, let's just turn the cam. Hi, it's overexposed right now. It's rainy today. It hasn't been rainy in forever. So I'm wearing rain. This is my rain outfit. He asked me to design a Snoopy inspired mug. So he wants to make a mug, just like a normal ceramic mug and print, like a Snoopy inspired design on it. So he asked me to do that. I'm gonna start working on it. Why not? I don't really have a plan. We're going for, we're going for cozy, not Christmassy, cozy winter, um, not holiday. So I have to kind of make that vibe happen. And then also, I know a lot of people sell a lot of Snoopy merch, just like people draw Snoopy and sell his image, which is, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'm a Snoopy lover, love Snoopy, but I don't know how people don't get sued. I've even seen people selling Snoopy stuff and it says like Snoopy shirt, Snoopy t-shirt and use his name. Um, so I don't know how that works. But our idea is to just make Snoopy's patterning a little bit different. Dan has a dog named Murray and he has he's black and white and he has just like some um, dark spots around his eye. So we're just gonna do that and not call it a Snoopy mug. Like it's not worth the risk of getting sued for the design. You know, am I taking it too seriously? I looked it up, okay? I Googled this, I Googled can I sell Snoopy or Peanut inspired merch? And it's like, no, you will get sued. I guess that's only if they catch you, but I really don't want to be responsible for a design that like gets Proud Hound sued. You know what I mean? Um, so we're going to go in an inspirational type of look, like a, a Proud Hound version of Snoopy. So I'm going to pull, um, I know they use like a brush type inking style, like the brush is very um, sketchy 
My heat's coming on. What can I say? So I'm gonna try and find a brush that looks like the way Snoopy's drawn. I'm gonna pull a color palette from some of the like Christmas illustrations that are out there for, for Snoopy. And I'm gonna go from there. I think I'm gonna go for Snoopy on like a cozy chair with a coffee or like him outside in a wintry kind of scene with like a box or something. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I am coming back to the studio to finish the Snoopy design. I sent the two options I did to Dan. He picked the comfy chair mantle design, which I personally would have chose to. I tried to kind of doll up the other one with some trees in the background, but like the colors weren't flowing, the composition wasn't very good. I was copying a Snoopy design and he was like holding a box of Christmas ornaments. And I couldn't figure out what to make make him hold. So I went with like a coffee cup, but it's just like, I don't like the concept, it's stupid. Um, so I'm gonna finalize the indoor design now. It just needs like cleaned up a little bit. I am gonna leave it just like, especially the line work, I want to be very sketchy because that's the way Snoopy is to me. There's a lot of different kinds of Snoopy. If you can hear like crowds of people right now, there's an event downstairs. Um, so I'm gonna finalize that now. It's like sunset right now. The studio over there is beautiful. Let me step out so it focuses. It's just like really nice right there. Um, where I'm sitting, it's already, it's already set in this area of the studio. But let's get it. Let's get it boys and girls and theys and thems. And everyone, well, let's get it, people. Let me take off Tony's harness. Okay, I also, before I go, I also got this duster today coat. So cute. Let me show it to you. I got it at this um, resale shop. I don't know if I can get far enough away from it. Can you see it? See? I literally have to get like 20 feet from the camera for that. We finished the Snoopy design. Um, well, I finished the Snoopy design. I don't know if I told you about that. I designed a little black and white proud hound thing for the back of the mug. I cleaned up the, the little inside scene I drew. Um, I added little details as I was finalizing it and I think it turned out really cute. Um, so that's done. I am now 
reopening my online shop. Um, I had it closed for a little bit to adjust some shipping. Last year I made some larger prints and people were asking for restocks for a while and it's taken me a full year to get them and then onto my shop again. Um, so that's opening today. My patrons have early access right now and it's going well. I had James work on organizing the shipping prices again. Squarespace came out with a new feature that made shipping a little, little bit easier. The shipping part of the online shop is definitely the most challenging part um, to logic out how things need to be shipped and how that needs to be priced to many different places is just a lot. So James, I think, handled it okay. It's sometimes hard to tell if it's going well until we start like packing the orders and buying the shipping. From my perspective right now, it's going okay. I think that's gonna turn off. Nailed it. So that's, that's open right now. I'm waiting for the public open, so I'm just kind of hanging in the studio until I can open my shop for everyone because I need to be by a computer. That's open. I hope to just leave my shop open until maybe the end of the year. I, I think the, the orders will come in a little bit slower so it won't feel as out of control as other times I've opened my shop um, because there's nothing very new on it. So that should be chill. And that's that. Talk to you later. This is my first window painting ever. I've, I've never done this in my life. I've also, I've never worked this large before. I've made some like generally big paintings, 
but I've never worked this big. My friend Jess, who was helping me make the hats earlier in this vlog and also went to Gatlinburg with me, works for Fern, which is where I'm drawing this. Fern is a small business plant shop in Cincinnati, and they asked me if I wanted to draw on their windows for like a holiday thing. So I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll do it. And it was really fun. Once I kind of got the hang of it, it went a lot faster and I walked in with no plan, which I don't know if that was good or bad. I don't have a lot of experience with the, you know, drawing in white and or on glass. So it was a little bit of trial and error, but as I started to figure the ins and outs of the process, I found it to be very fun. So I have been enjoying working with smaller businesses. One, my friends work at them and it, that's a little bit easier, but it's really fun for me currently to be working on things that are not my own. I don't have a ton of drive right now to work on my own stuff. It's just, it's not flowing for me. My mental state is low and I don't have the, the, the spark to get things going. So I think just someone else asking me to do something and filling the need for someone else is really suiting how I feel right now. And it's really cool that working for Proud Hound on the Snoopy mug and working for Fern on this window design have fallen upon me at this time. Fallen upon me, I don't know about that wording, but you know what I mean. Um, but I think it turned out really cute. It is really fun, like from far away too. The, the shop sits back from the road a bit and you can see the two trees really clearly because they're that bold white. And I love the morning doves in the middle. I, I stole most of the the aspects of this design from the sketchbook page I did earlier on in this in this vlog, the one I did in the orange pen. But I'm really happy with it and I, they said they're really happy with it, so I think I would like to do more. I thought it was really fun. I'm also going to draw on their other locations windows this week, so that will be fun and I will be more equipped to do it. Another feature of Jess, Jess pretty much ran this whole vlog. Um, she came and helped me pack some orders. James asked for a day off, so Jess came and helped me, which was so lovely. But I'm gonna do a little shameless plug right now. If you want some more content from me, I, I know I only post one video a month. That's my goal right now, actually. I wanna post one video a month on YouTube. Um, I do post one extra video on Patreon if you're looking for a little extra content. I also have a podcast that I post monthly as well. If you like to play my videos in the background, you would definitely like my podcast. I also have monthly postcards and stickers if you're interested in that kind of thing. So I will leave a link in my description if you want to find me there. The postcard for November is so cute. I know this is going to be a little late for that, but I do sell the leftovers in my secret Patreon shop where I sell all my leftover postcards and stickers. So yeah, that's my little shameless plug for Patreon. I don't feel like I talk about it a ton in my vlogs, so I, I need to do these little plugs, but the shop update went really well. I still have some stuff in stock if you're interested in grabbing one of the larger prints. They've been selling a little bit slower, so I'm hoping the people who want them have time to get them. I don't plan on restocking them after this, so get them while you can. And thank you everyone for ordering from my shop at all. I think that's amazing and I'm really, really grateful. I know small businesses are kind of suffering right now and the world is suffering right now, so it does mean a lot that you're watching this video and anyone out there that has ever ordered from me, has ever ordered from me, like blows my mind. So thank you. <laughs> That's that. What did we end on? Packing orders? What's interesting about making vlogs like this is 
I look back at my whole month in like highlights and it looks like a really wonderful month and I know looking back that I was sad for like more than half of it but even when I'm sad I have such lovely moments and this job and the way I make videos is so helpful for reminding me that there's still sweet moments while I'm sad and mentally low. So I'm, I feel very grateful for this whole platform and my job. And I just want to say thanks for that, for watching. I think it is so crazy that you watch my videos um, and that I'm still making them. So shout out to anyone who's ever seen any seconds of my video. And a big shout out to my little puppy patrons for supporting me and letting me live my life and have this job. You're the best. And also, before I go, in my last clip when I was packing orders, I was wearing a little bonnet that I made. And I made a matching one for Jess. And I'm gonna make a matching one for everyone I know. I was on my beanie kick. I was making beanies for everyone. Now I'm gonna make bonnets for everyone. It's just so fun. I also, just to be clear, I didn't, I didn't follow a pattern or anything for it. I generally made it up. I don't know how to follow patterns. So if you see me crocheting anything, I don't know how to follow patterns. So I, I'm making up everything I make, which is fun, but also like, I do wish I could follow a pattern so I could, make other things besides what I'm capable of making. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, the bonnet is a huge highlight of my life right now. I love wearing it. And it's an amazing piece. I, d I don't know why like bonnets aren't more of a thing. I know the balaclava is a big thing and maybe the bonnets are gonna be next. The whole like hood thing and the knot around the neck thing is like, it's nice. All those coats where you're like, I wish this coat had a hood. What about a bonnet? You know? Anyways, thank you for watching my video. Like it if you haven't yet. Leave me a comment. I don't know what about, whatever you like. And subscribe to my channel if you're not, if you made it to the end of the video. Pretty good sign that you should subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Oh, that's my new wave. See ya. <laughs> Bye.